gloves. Wonderful. I won't leave fingerprints in these plastic gloves. They fit perfectly. That was easy. There have got to be some clues pointing to Arthur's disappearance. The apartment is too clean. This has to be a cover-up apartment. I don't believe this will work. One of the standard models that all FSB agents receive. Hmm, that does not work. Locked. Crap. Looks like Arthur installed his own lock. Well, no. No, that does not make- A special lock. No idea how I can open that. A very stable wardrobe. The spider does not move. Do spiders hibernate? I don't believe this will work. I better not turn this on. I better not turn this on. This could be useful. Hmm, that does not work. A flashlight. No one has ever slept in this bed. There's something in the soil. Looks metallic. The key works. Locked, of course. Locked, of course. That is simple. No, I don't need that. Surveillance equipment. It seems Arthur had someone in sight. Hmm. A file about the person Arthur observed. There are handwritten notes, too. There's something about financial troubles. Unknown person every Thursday, 1300. Wife and three kids. Contact... K. L. What does that mean? Ah, apartment number 12, the apartment next door. Something is happening in the apartment next door. Seems the inhabitant just left. I can take a look then. This way leads to the bathroom. Not even a toothbrush in the bathroom. And nothing else of interest either. I don't care about the outlet right now. I don't care about... I better not turn this on. Those curtains are pretty yellowed. Locked. This lock looks pretty harmless, though. And done. The drawer is open. Very good. Let's see. Does this still work? A SIM card for a mobile phone. The flashlight works again. Very good. Let there be light. The SIM card is locked. I need to find out the code first. Nothing is actually happening. I should try again. Hmm. A file about the person Arthur observed. There are handwritten notes, too. There's something about... Financial troubles. Unknown person every Thursday, 1300. 
wife and three kids. Contact K-L. What does that mean? Ah, apartment number 12, the apartment next door. One of the standard models. Hmm, that does not work. Arthur has a birthday in August. Maybe he used his birthday as the code. Nothing is actually happening. Hmm. A file about the person Arthur observed. There are handwritten notes, too. There's something about financial troubles. Unknown person every Thursday. There you are. Done. Just great. However, unlike Arthur's apartment, someone actually lived here. Hopefully I'll find some useful information. Shouldn't there be a closet? Instead, there's just a wardrobe. Oh, yes. A closet was hidden behind the wardrobe. Ah. Here is the closet. Fabulous. Much better. A duffel bag. A dried blood stain. Pretty big. The zipper is broken. I can't open it like this. Those clothes on the floor. Someone seems to have thrown them there in a big hurry. The door was hidden behind it. The trash bin is empty. No one bothered screwing in a new one? Strange. Whoever used the bathroom took all of his personal belongings with him. Someone seems to have slept in this bed recently. There's also some dirty laundry lying around, and a letter. My beloved Osia, thank you so much for the package. It arrived safely. Thank heavens for your promotion. I am so proud of you, dearest Osip, and infinitely grateful. I paid back the rent we owe, Aunt Lubos, and what we owe Uncle Vanya for fixing the car. And I could finally buy the medication for Olinka. The doctor said it was really last minute. I paid for everything in cash. I bought new bandages, bed sheets, and fruit. You should have seen her lying there in that hospital bed with her new teddy bear. Exhausted but smiling, and she had pink cheeks for the first time in weeks. I told her, Daddy has sent you the teddy bear so he can keep you company until Daddy comes back to us. She is so looking forward to it, and Irina and Mihal are asking every day where their daddy is. We all miss you so much. All the kisses in this world. From your Raisa. I think his birthday was in early August. Fabulous. Now I can access the phone.
Let's see who Matur was in contact with. First message. Hello. Looks like I can get you even more from the old weapon system of the Kursk. Good for me. I can really use it right now. Believe me. But we must get the whole deal done pretty fast. Call me as soon as you get my message. We'll talk face to face. Ideally today and somewhere outside town where we can be sure no one else will see us. Then we will discuss the rest, alright? Oh, and something else. Bring something with you that will prove you don't just have a big mouth. Some of the cash would be best. It's not about me, but I might be able to get you in touch with other people. And they want to make sure. I would not want to mess with them. Well then, I'm waiting. I have to finish my investigation here before I leave. There have got to be some clues pointing to Arthur's dis- How clumsy of me. Oh crap. My gloves are torn. Now I should pay attention to my fingerprints. I'll just cut a new opening. Let's see. I don't want to leave fingerprints on this knife. If that's a regular sailor's salary, I will eat a Baba Yaga's broom. He couldn't earn that much, not even in ten years. I need to take this with me. This shard is quite sharp-edged. Let's see. With this piece of cloth, I won't leave any fingerprints. No telling what ideas the internal control department will get. That is not good. I need to get back to the office. Arthur has followed a sailor from the Kursk. His name is Osip Grasimov. There was a lot of money, circuit boards, and a blood-stained knife in his apartment. From what you've told me, it would not surprise me if the circuit board appeared to be a covert hint from Lila or something like this. Here are the things from the suspect's apartment. Thank you, Milena. Our colleagues will look at the hardware and examine the knife. I want to talk to Grasimov. It's best to speak with him directly on the Kursk. We should have someone there anyway. The Kursk has today received the command to run an exercise, and I want one of us on board. I could officially make the request at the Ministry, but this could do more harm than good. I have left some documents about the Kursk on your table. Look through them. Meanwhile, I will look at a way to bring you or Ulyanov aboard. The file concerning the nuclear-powered submarine K-141 Kursk. Milena, we have found a way, but we must be quick. The weapons officer of the Kursk has been requesting for spare circuit boards for the missile control computer. He needs them for an exercise that starts tomorrow. The Ministry has approved it, on condition that a quick system review will be performed. The person authorized and responsible for reviewing is on her way with the boards. Her name is Tatiana Sokolova. Then I will go on board and call myself Mrs. Sokolova in the next few days. Exactly. Ulyanov ensures that Miss Sokolova has a little accident and will be blocked at least 24 hours. Excellent. You will soon receive your uniforms and papers. It is of course expected that you will stay on the course after it sails, so make up something to remain on board. You witch the captain, hide yourself, do what you have to, but stay on board. And the real Sokolova? We can keep hold of her, but for not more than a day. In less than 24 hours, our little trick will be revealed, and the incompetent people from Ministry 
and grew military intelligence will knock on my door because of her. That won't matter for you. In 24 hours, the course will have dived deep already. How can I communicate with you? It will not be possible. Mobile phones don't function underwater. Also, there is no communication during the exercise of Kursk with the HQ. From this moment, you cannot disembark. You can't reach anyone, and you have to watch out for yourself. Find out more about Asip Garasimov. Also, if you can, find out who is Lilia. First of all, protect the Kursk if it's in danger. I want to have the Kursk safe and untouched in the port after the exercise. And you, too. Understood. My cover identity, Tatiana Ivanovna Sokolova, a lieutenant in the technical service of the Defense Ministry. There should be absolute silence during the maneuver. A military uniform, which is also worn by staff in the Department of Defense. Fits like a glove. Milena, it's time for you to go. I better leave the weapons and my ID card here. They are strictly checking for weapons when boarding the boat. I don't believe this will work. What did I tell you, Igor Sergeyevich? The monkeys from the Ministry really forced another testing of the new torpedoes upon us. And on top of that, they're sending us a woman on board. Oh, that is so them. I have to battle those pencil pushers for weeks for every bag of potatoes and new blankets for my sailors. But they always have enough money for harassment and controlling us. One should think the Admiralty holds you in higher regards. After you piloted the Kursk into the Meridian Sea recently without being detected. Bah. Oh, as if. Hero here and Motherland Protector there. I don't give a damn about their empty words, Igor Segevich. The young lady is here. Captain Vladin, Lieutenant Tatiana Sokolova. I come to check the newly built weapon systems. Just so you get it clear straight away, you'll do your job as quickly as humanly possible. Whenever you leave the ship or return, you'll report to the first officer. You talk to no one and don't stand in anyone's way. As soon as you're done, vanish. I'm in no mood to have the crew start a mutiny because of you. The sailors won't even see me, Captain. Hmm, I highly advise that be the case. You are under observation, understood? One wrong move and you'll be thrown off the ship. Is that clear? Got it. We have prepared a cabin for you. You can make yourself comfortable there. Thank you. A pretty cabin they have prepared for me. First thing I should do is meet Korobernikov and complete my official job. I better leave the files here. Who leaves a pair of tweezers here? What were they used for? Maybe I will have to stick the Kursk together. Well, no.
Excuse me, Weapon System Officer Korobelnikov? That's me. And you are? Lieutenant Tatiana Sokolova. I'm here to check the new weapon systems. Indeed. I have the spare parts with me that you asked for. I can install them myself if you want. Interesting. As soon as they approve of the new equipment, they send someone to check on us. May I ask where you got your orders from? Straight from the Ministry. And why did they send you of all people? Leonid Andreevich, I am good at what I do. Really? Ever been on a submarine before? I had very good training. Oh, really? By whom? Tell me. I think the weapon system is more important than me, Leonid Andreevich. Where do I find the computer system for the missile control? Here, you have the access card. You will find the way, but I'll be keeping an eye on you. I have heard that before. Bring everything back to me when you're done. The missile control room. The protective cover is now removed. The weapon system is now switched off. The toolbox is closed. 